this age of unicorns, I like to think of Rodan and Fields as a beautiful black swan. Now, while Rodan and Fields' financial performance should easily qualify for unicorn valuation levels, Rodan and Fields is not a typical unicorn. But our valuation would not be raised based on those putting money in. Rather, it's based on real marketplace value that together we've created. Real sales of real products that have transformed the skin of hundreds of thousands of loyal customers and real profits that have been shared with our impressive and growing network of consultants across the country and finally this year, Canada. Now, within the first seven years after leaving the department store world behind, Rodan and Fields emerged as the number four premium skincare brand and the largest and fastest growing independent skincare brand in the United States. Today, as Rodan and Fields is one of the U.S.'s largest and most influential direct selling companies, we no longer even think of ourselves as a direct selling company. We've grown to transcend that definition. Through the creation of an e-commerce platform, this allowed our brand and our products to take a hero position and allowed all transactions to occur electronically, which eliminated the need for any of you to carry inventory. But what we didn't fully appreciate at the time was the extent to which we were setting ourselves up to define a new way of doing business, that we were creating a totally modern platform for modern-day entrepreneurs. And in the process, we were defining the future of social commerce. And here's the coolest part of all. This disruptive approach to personal enterprise is generating market share that is actually much greater than our geographic penetration would suggest it should be. So we're working with Euromonitor, a leading market research firm, and they're helping us to demonstrate that like Proactive, the brand that substantially grew the size of the acne market, Rodan and Fields is growing the overall premium skincare market in the United States. Sharing this experience with all of you is more special than you could ever know. But rest assured that as we seize the day, we're constantly focused on your future. We're ever committed to being the spark that ignites vision and passion and helps millions to decide today how tomorrow looks. So here's to all of you, and as always, to great skin. I'm here from Euromonitor International, and uh, we're here to give a little bit of the data. Um, I think that that's been something that, you know, the team at Rodan and Fields has absolutely heard from all the consultants here today, that uh, there needed to be a little bit of the data behind a lot of the trends and the analysis and, and you know, the, uh, the growth that we've seen within the Rodan and Fields brand. In 2014, the global beauty and personal care market reached $400 billion in total sales. Uh, I think that that is really important to, uh, to highlight and really to understand that, you know, the global beauty and, and personal care market is has never been larger. I mean, now, when we look at skincare, uh, global skincare makes up a little less than 30% of that total sales of that $400 billion, uh, which equates to about $111 billion in total sales for global skincare. Now, of that uh, $111 billion, North America made up about 14% of those sales, coming in at around $15.3 billion in total sales. Uh, what you see here on the chart on the left-hand side is the 2009 to 2014 performance of North American skincare sales. Uh, 2009 sales were about $12.9 billion in total sales. Uh, that has risen now to $15.3 billion, as I said before, for a growth of about $2.4 billion in total growth for North American skincare. As you can see in the pie chart there, uh, premium growth has made up about a little less than 60% of total growth over the last five years within the skincare space, uh, growing by about $1.4 billion uh, in total growth over the last five years. Um, so now, as I mentioned before, I wanted to talk a little bit about the role that Rodan and Fields has played and the, and the role that the success of the Rodan and Fields brand has played in the uh, overall success of the premium skincare space. I think that this chart really speaks to that and really can help to kind of contextualize that a bit too. Um, so what you see here on the chart is uh, the 2009 to 2014 U.S. premium skincare market uh, and that 
little sliver there on the, in the, that rises up in the blue that becomes, of course, much more than a sliver by 2014 is the uh, Rodan and Fields contributed growth to the overall market. So uh, just to put a little bit of uh, some numbers around that, Rodan and Fields contributed about 12.3% to the overall growth in the category within premium skincare. No other brand matched that in terms of total growth and, and or in terms of contribution to the overall growth of the premium skincare market, uh, truly unmatched uh, against any other competitors. And uh, you know, I think this really helps to, to show that you know, the, the success of the Rodan and Fields brand really helped to propel that premium skincare market past the $4 billion mark uh, for the first time ever. I mean, I think that you know, that chart really speaks for itself, that this is a, this is a category that simply would not have grown as well or, or, or done as well on the whole without the success of the Rodan and Fields brand. You know, Euromonitor is uh, a lot of times has been the, uh, the statistics and the analysis behind a lot of the claims that you've used and I'm sure have seen in, in decks and reports uh, throughout the, uh, your time at Rodan and Fields. And, and I want to let you all know that as of today and, and you know, perhaps tomorrow morning, you may even see it in some presentations, uh, Euromonitor has uh, confirmed an additional claim here, and that would be the, uh, that Rodan and Fields is the, uh, among pre top premium skincare brands, Rodan and Fields is the fastest growing brand every year for the last six years. Uh, within that premium skincare space. Uh, on top of that, we've also recently certified that Rodan and Fields is the number one premium acne care uh, brand in the U.S. as well. Um, so, you know, with all that said, I think it's important to, to provide a little bit of context here, right? I, I think that, you know, it's always good to, to I don't want to give off the impression that uh, this growth in premium skincare is a rising tide that lifts all ships and, and that every brand has experienced the type of growth that the Rodan and Fields brand has experienced. And so I wanted to uh, put some competitors up on the board and, and offer some comparisons. So um, we start with uh, Shiseido at 4.2%, uh, Estee uh, Lauder at 4.6%. Uh, following that is Clinique at 5.4%, uh, you know, another sort of major uh, premium skincare brand in the United States and, and certainly one that has had some success at that 5.4%. Again, nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, we follow that up with Lancome at 6.5%. But, of course, no one really truly competes with Rodan and Fields at that 106.5% in terms of average yearly growth. Uh, so within the North America and of course the global opportunity for Rodan and Fields is absolutely tremendous. Go get it.